who I was so... All right. Well, our next artist comes to you live from Los Angeles, California. In May 2005, Rob Reed was a secular Jewish 30-something Los Angeles personal injury attorney whose idea of getting up early on a Sunday was getting up for a third quarter of the televised NFL games. Thirsting on the idea of playing in a band for the first time in a decade, Rob finally accepted his neighbor's request to get up at 7 in the morning on Sundays in order to participate in a Christian church worship team. Eleven months later, his world was turned upside down by Jesus. Amen. Rob has been the worship leader at Lifehouse since October 2010 for that same team that initially invited him to join as a non-believer. How cool is that? Everyone, welcome our next guest on Red's Room, Rob Reed. I'm very happy to be here once again. Thank you, Kim. But are you really going to make me go after Mary? Are you really going to do that? Because then it's just downhill now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Mary, yes. That was oh, awesome. Yes. Well done. That was really great. I love Mary's music. I do too. So, yeah. So, that my story is... Uh, Jewish 30 something and a neighbor invited me for like the fifth time to go to church and I finally went all right I like playing music with you and it was 11 months later scales came off my eyes conveniently in an Acts 9 sermon by my pastor Dana Hansen who's about to retire Easter is going to be his his last uh, day at our church which is a sad day for me because it's the only church I've ever known that's the church I came to faith at and I was baptized in uh, tax day, April 15th, 2006. So tax day is a better day for me now. It's not so bad anymore. <laughs> wow. Redeemed yeah. day. That's awesome. Yeah. Redeemed life, better. redeemed day. Yeah, exactly. That's right. cool. Yeah. yeah. So we're almost there. Well, we're that's a gracious there. church. That's a gracious church. A lot of churches don't let non believers come on their teams. And I think that's well, I, really I will a great be, story. Yeah. Wherever I am, whoever I talk to, whatever worship leader I'm dealing with or a pastor, I will say, I mean, my pastor was uh, flexible. Um, I think my friend had to fib a little bit to say I was seeking. I wasn't seeking anything. God was <laughs> God was seeking me, waiting for me to knock on the door. Uh, but the pastor said it's fine as long as he doesn't <clears throat> sing. You know, and that makes sense. And for me, I would do the same thing: bring someone in because it was it was the music of Christian artists that slowly led me to proclaim Jesus's name before I even felt it in my heart or believed it and i one of my uh memories is you know the song hungry hungry it's an older song like from the 90s maybe the 2000s i don't know. hungry da, 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 da. and there's a line in there uh yeah. i'm falling on my knees jesus uh, this is all, this is all uh, my heart is living for and i remember singing that out top of my lungs man right and uh didn't believe it but it caused me pause and uh, it was moments like that, and God kept revealing himself to me. I was reading the Bible, so I thought, oh, what the heck. They invited me to a uh, church they called Alpha Course. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Alpha Course. It's by Nicky Gumbel. He's an Anglican priest, and he puts out this program for churches to bring in non-believers. And I was sort of an experiment for him. And I thought, <laughs> okay, I'll finally do it. Third time they asked me. And they, the third time they asked me to go there, I, of course, missed the first one because I still, there was a part of me just, I don't want to go into this, any Jesus business and stuff. And, uh, and then it was the second time and then the third time and the fourth time. And then learning about the historicity of Jesus and just becoming voracious to know more about him. And then he decided to surprise me by, uh, taking the scales off my eyes. And so here I am. So why don't we start with what a uh, story? Yeah, it's awesome, and uh, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't so looking weird. for him, but uh, he was always there, that's for sure. And so, so was the Holy Spirit, you know. And the Holy Spirit doesn't get a lot of uh, we forget about the Holy Spirit. And I always say, my this is my pastor's idea, but I I say it as if it's my own, that uh, we are so uh, forgetful of the Holy Spirit that we don't even have an expletive for the Holy Spirit. You know, we use God's name in vain so often. So many people do in our culture and things you don't hear anybody saying the holy spirit's name in vain you know so he gets a lot so of true. 
funny. So this song is about the Holy Spirit, and, and we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to, to be here with us, and we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Jesus, where you said we're two or more gathered in your name. You're here. So we thank you, and we're so appreciative of you, God. I'm so appreciative of you today, not only for the music that we're going to hear from Mary that we just heard, for Kim, for Red, and this, this ministry, but for Pastor Casey. Oh, Lord, you are good. Your mercy endures forever. Amen. Thank you. And I can't wait to hear Pastor Casey. This is Flood of Grace, where we're going to call on the Holy Spirit to, to share with us here this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are. Awesome. We call on you, Spirit. Bring us your peace, Holy Spirit. Gift us with faith that's increased. Won't you fill this place as we sing your praise and give us your vision. Pour down your truth so we dream and we flourish with eyes set on you. Won't you fill this place with your flood of grace, flood of grace, flood of grace, flood of grace. All who call on the Lord will be saved. song yeah that was that came out of my pastor saying that the holy spirit was uh was disrespected and i wanted to make sure this was before the song holy spirit came out so that's a dated song it's about 10 years old so i uh, you know they i think the holy spirit was moving amongst us where we were starting to recognize him a little bit more and then that beautiful holy spirit song came in and 
So they no longer wow. need the blood of grace anymore. So <laughs> <laughs> I think we still need it, but all right. Well, great. I'm glad I love you that. Liked it. All who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a, a prophet Joel. Yeah. So uh, that confused me a little That's bit because right. Joel says, uh, and it's mentioned in the New Testament too, but it's um, it's uh, what confused me is the Holy Spirit falls on all people. And for me, that helps to explain the idea that we all kind of know right and wrong. We know. You can feel it. Even whether or not you believe in God, you want to push God away, fine. But you know. We know we're right and wrong. Things just we know. There's a, a subjective standard we can feel. But I thought, well, does that mean everybody's saved? And, and unfortunately, no. I wish that was the case. But we, we can tell people for sure what the prophet Joel also says is that it's all who call on the name of the Lord who will be saved. And as the New Amen. Testament will tell us, that if you believe on your heart that the Father raised him from the dead, you just absolutely believe that, that good news, that Jesus was raised for the forgiveness of sins and to give us victory over death, you got it. That's the golden wow. ticket. So wow. the next song we're going to do is kind of my recognition awesome. of the golden ticket, right? Which is, uh, this is called New Life. So we're, I usually close with this one. We're going we're gonna to do two new songs to end out the, uh, the final two for me. This is uh, my testimony song where it starts with, The heavens praise your wonders, Lord, so who am I not to join? The heavens praise your wonders, Lord. So who am I not to join? With all I am, I sing your praise. For by your grace I have been saved. I've been made a new creation by my high God. As I am, there are no burdens in my path. Once a broken, wretched man, I'm made righteous by your hands. I've been made a new creation by my God. It's the start of a new life. It's the start of a new life. It's the start of a new life. A new life for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me, Lord, the eyes to see. More of you and less of me. Give me ears that I may hear. Help me know that you are near. I've been made a new creation by my high God. It's the start of it's the start of a new life. It's the start of a new life. A new life for me. It's the start of a new life. It's the start of a new life. It's the start of Now I'm found I was lost But now I'm found My whole world Turned upside down I've made a new creation I've made a new creation By my God 
It's the start of the new life. It's the start of a new life. It's the start of a new life. A new life for me. Beautiful. Okay, we have Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth Holthouse is on joining us as co-host tonight. Awesome. Hi, and she has a question Hi. for you. Uh oh, I sure hope I can answer it. Here we go. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. So when I came on, I was hearing your first song and everything. And so that kind of resonated with me along with the one you just did. And what is you know your inspiration behind writing songs like new life or just singing a cover song and everything that takes the process of when you do your writing like how does that come about well you, you i just kind of here's the easiest thing all right this is a great mm -hmm. lesson for songwriters who are like too afraid or something uh the the prophets uh jesus um uh, let's see, Paul, all of them, you can, David, you read the Psalms, they, they're not going to sue you for copyright infringement. Now, Jesus wouldn't, he's with us, but he doesn't, he's not big on the, I don't think he files any lawsuits anymore, right? You know, so he could from a lawyer. Ever. Yeah, exactly. So you start there, right? And then you get your inspiration from these great words. Like I, one of my songs, I'm not playing it today, but a song, Tender Mercy, you know, I played, it's, mm -hmm. it's based on Luke 1. And uh, that was a disrespected, actually, area my pastor talked about, too, which is Zechariah's song. We always talk about Mary, not Ozaraga, but I'm talking about Mother Mary, Jesus' <laughs> mom. And, uh, and Zechariah, John the Baptist's father, had this great poem, like John 1, or Luke 1, 64 to the end. So it starts there. And then whatever I'm feeling, like with... Uh, Flood of Grace was just to kind of, I, I didn't write it in the key that I sang in it. I wasn't feeling like I could hit it today, so I, we went in a lower Johnny Cash key. But you just start, just start <laughs> how you feel, and then you just go from there, and chords go, and I know Mary and everyone awesome. else that's a song right here. Talks. So it just comes naturally, and I yeah. think God gives it to us, and especially when we're writing for him, it kind of just comes out, you know, and uh, it's great. So thank you, God, for these words. So God first, but I can use the words in scripture the word uh and not have a fear of getting sued for copyright infringement so it goes that's awesome thank you elizabeth for the mary question. thank you mary just wrote i trust what rob says <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah let's do that because uh, i it, it's a great it's the bible's a treasure trove of beautiful poetry it's kind of like why and, and many of us all of us you know all the old hymns and stuff and that's another thing too is i if I'm worried about my theology, there's a lot of people out there that are always checking us on those lyrics and stuff. And sometimes something right. slips through. But if I rip something directly from the Bible, I'll blame, I'll go, if you have a problem with me, go to John the Baptist's dad. You don't like <laughs> rising, uh, yeah, you don't like tender mercy, talk to Zechariah. Don't go to me. I just, I just ripped his words, you know, things like that, safety. So, That's good. <laughs> yeah, this, this next song though is real interesting, Elizabeth, of how it came about because um, I'm going to sing a new song which is my my latest single but i'm not naturally a, a country guy and it turns out this is a country song and how it came about was my pastor he had the bright idea to ask me and and the songwriters here will understand that this is not a good this is not a nice request he said um i'm, I'm preaching on a book and it's got nine chapters i'm preaching one a week i'd like you to write a song a week i'm like pastor that's asking quite a bit a song a week <laughs> Okay, I think I've written 30 in my life at the time, right? Okay, we'll give it a shot. He says, don't worry, I can help you. But he doesn't play an instrument, and he doesn't sing all that well. So the way he helped me is he just had this idea of a melody and a verse, and he called me on the phone, and he left a voicemail. And uh, that was the verse, and then I ended up writing the chorus. And this is it. This is called Your Father's Eyes. Here we go. Country vibe. There is beauty right before you 
There is beauty up above When you look around through his eyes You see a world bathed with love How do you know God is with you When the world just tells you lies Through the pain and through the suffering You know you've got your Father's eyes Your Father's eyes see so clearly Though your own eyes see the weary, hope is there when you may not realize. In every town and every village, all there's people in God's image. But Jesus leaned in your whole fast, looking through your Father's eyes. It's not about your reputation or the things your money buys. All you need's right there beside you when you're looking through his eyes. He is with you every moment in your heart you'll realize. There's no need for you to worry because you got your father's eyes. Your Father's eyes see so clearly Though your own eyes see the weary Hope is there when you may not realize In every town and every village All there's people in God's image But Jesus lived in your whole fast Looking through your Father's eyes with Jesus some comments about you in, in the chat going on uh -oh. we, got, uh -oh. we got we got let's see someone say who was that mary wow you sound great singing country Ooh, and then right. Fred says he's a little bit country and a whole lot of rock and roll and i think mary said she's trying to think who you look like uh -oh. you look a little like shane and shane's shane Bernard. Well, one of them. There's two Shanes, right? I mean, that's the thing. So <laughs> I hope it's Shanes. the better looking Shane. We're just going to, yeah. whatever one I think is better looking. I'm that gonna, I... That's the Shane. <laughs> that's the one. All right. Thank you. You do sound good singing country, though. Yeah. You know what? That's the thing. And that's a funny thing about uh, part of my experience of being a new creation. Um, I started to develop an appreciation. I bought Storytellers. This was about 10 years ago in the bargain bin at Best Buy. It was VH1 Storytellers, Willie Nelson and Johnny Cash. I think that's one cool. of the greatest albums ever made, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. I gained an Imagine. appreciation for that. Uh, third day, Southern Rock and Roll, you know? Mm -hmm. I ended oh, yeah. up kind of, I ended, like, because when I started leading worship, we would do some of those songs, and I ended up kind of emulating him. And it just favorites. became a part of me. So the 21-year-old version of me sees that I'm writing country songs, singing <laughs> and believes in jesus and like talks about him all the time and reads the bible all the time the 21 year old version of me would be making a lot of fun of me right now that's okay <laughs> the so, 21 version of you must be drowned in the water though right he went oh, down he oh went he down. went down yeah he oh he definitely went down I'm telling you. sorry buddy but uh yeah but if you did see me it would be a, a let's just say a drastic surprise i had a roommate who joined campus crusade for christ i made fun of him not necessarily for jesus but because he went there just for a girl sometimes it's a girl that brings you in that that can work yeah that's my yeah. this is my byline sometimes a girl brings you in in my case it was a 45 year old man who was a bassist who asked wow. me to join the team so not as exciting <laughs> but he was a nice guy too so this next song, this last song that I'm going to do, this is uh, that last song, Your Father's Eyes. Um, it came out on March 10th. You can find it on all the awesome. music platforms. Um, it's out there and it's rocky. It's got a full band. It's really good. This one is um, orchestral and piano based, but I originally wrote it on the guitar. And it's a Good Friday song, so it's perfect uh, for that. But as you can imagine, it's... it's uh, it's a melancholy, pensive kind of song, but a nice place for us to go to, to thank Jesus for the work that he did for us on the cross. And this is called Perfect Beauty.
You looked out from the cross With love beyond compare Upon the thrones of those Whose sin had put you there Manifest in flesh The Word who bled and died The thief comes to distress But the Word still brings us life And life in full Perfect beauty, though not guilty, suffered for our sin. He was breathing faintly, but speaking plainly, that the thief he shall not win, since Jesus rose from the dead. Though you could have claimed God's armies to relieve Instead forgiveness reigned For all those who believe The empty grave Perfect beauty Though not guilty, suffered for our sin. He was breathing faintly, but speaking plainly, that the thief he shall not win. Perfect Jesus, God who frees us, Washed us pure from stained You faced death so boldly As we coldly Watched your body drain Still Jesus rose from the dead oh. Yeah, that one pierces the heart. Thank you. It, that that's yeah. Yeah, it does. It's gorgeous. Did you share that at your church on a Good Friday? Or I, I'm this coming because I just wrote it this year. Uh, it, it started in January. The oh. idea kind of moved on, and uh, like I said, that song's coming out this Thursday. So if you check out, but it, it's orchestral, oh, so it's even Thursday. prettier. You know, it, it won't have like any of my mistakes mm. that I was making just now. So you got you like you get into the mood, and then you're like, oh. Yeah. Rob, why did you hit that note? But um, the orchestral stuff. That's why no, I like it. No, recordings. no, no. It's a great song. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, I hope that uh, you enjoy yeah, it. And no, it's good. this song stands alone. Yeah, great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. I appreciate yeah, it. That's beautiful. I, 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 I really, it, it's a beautiful song. When there's a great song, it's kind of like mistakes can be had because the song shines through. And it, it was one of those, I think. Yeah, great. Well, I think <clears> And Elizabeth you. said, what did you say, Elizabeth? Yeah. There was something that she wanted um, to tell you. Did you want to? So, um, that last song that you did before 
you ended on perfect beauty um, your father's eyes yeah yeah country so I went, when you, you, yeah yeah sorry when you meant sorry uh, when you mentioned that <laughs> when you mentioned that um oh come on i gotta get the words up it's okay when you mentioned that you released that song on march 10th uh-huh. i don't know if you knew it or not but when you released that one on march 10th that was actually the anniversary date when my grandma my dad's mom passed on march 10th of 2021 wow well i mean that's an upbeat song where it's it's uh you know there's beauty all around us notwithstanding the you know and there's beauty in in death for those who've gone before us who we have the, we know they believe in jesus and they have the hope they have that golden ticket that we know that if they were going through pain they were going through some kind of suffering that it's no longer and it's like one big great party and that's kind of what that song's about that especially in this in our mortal coil here there are a lot of lies and when we go to be with the Father and to be with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, those lies, no more lies, no more pain, no more suffering, no more tears. It's a beautiful vision. And so thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Elizabeth. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing, Rob. This was a joy to hear you. Thank um, you. Oh, sure. It's been a pleasure. It's always great. Two, what was the number read? 236? Is that where we're at? Thumb up? Or am I like short? Yes. Yep. Wow, 236. So That's thank it. you, Kim, for you know joining in the hosting crowd because we couldn't do it without you. Thank you. My pleasure. I love doing this. This is so much fun. I get to hear all of you guys and find out what God is doing all over the planet, which is so fun. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so thanks. Where, where can we find your music? I see you have a website, robreed.com, correct? Yeah, which is uh, down there. You could see Rob Reed. So if you put it together, R-E-E-D.com, it has all of my links to stuff, but it's on all major platforms. Spotify is the way to go. Uh, if you're on Spotify, if, if you have playlists and things, if you like country music, create a country gospel playlist put your father's eyes on that's where all the people are going right now to listen and they have a really it's really great for independent artists is spotify so if you can listen anywhere that'd be the best place but i'm on apple music and everywhere else too awesome and you're on facebook too Rob with Reed the music. backslash r-o-b-r-e-e-d-e-s-q right yeah well that, that's I, that's, that's my youtube channel it, it may it might have used to be so my YouTube channel, which is great, actually, I'd encourage, sorry for, you know, taking up hog and time, but if you go to robbery.com, you can get to the YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash robbereedsq, and that will, uh, I do a Bible, we're doing a Bible in a year right now. So if you want to awesome. do Bible in a year, you could start, we, cool. today was day 90, and I've done it. I can't believe it, slowly but surely, one day at a time. So day 90 today, you can just start today, and then read till March 31st of next year. <laughs> but wow. uh yeah, it'd be Very awesome. Cool. And I, I also have a channel up that's going to go back up uh, tonight or tomorrow called All Day Jesus, which is a 24-7 worship. And if anyone wants to, if it's unpublished music, anyone that's watching right now and they have something, let's say a demo that they recorded, and they'd like to add to that, that'd be great. You can just email me at robertreed at gmail.com. But thank you Very so much. Very cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank and you. it's that's Rob Reed Music. So I think facebook.com slash Rob Reed or Rob read music for god or something like that but you can find me at Rome. okay right awesome thanks for sharing no i think that's all good that you shared because that's all good stuff that's feeding the people yeah and, <laughs> and a platform for for christian musicians because we need more of them to be heard right. for sure there's a lot of great ones like we're gonna hear tonight and yeah have awesome thank you thank appreciate you. it kim